Welcome to episode 3 of the tutorial on how to build a database app using PySimple GUI. The last tutorial we had reached this section where we have produced an app that looks this beautiful. In the next series, which is just going to be about 10 minutes or so, we will implement a combo entries. In other words, we want to be able to create a system where you can select for the gender, either male or female. Also to be able to pick a date from a calendar that would fill into this space. And then we want to make uh, this address section a multi-line entry rather than a single line entry. Follow me to see. We'll close this now, but look at this. Look at the entries so far done. These are deliberately put in, making sure that you've got this opening square bracket and a close one, a window there, full colon here with this indentation and everything is deliberate. The window has to be there just along aligned to the wild true section. Right, so let's go on. Let's start first of all by creating an address line that is uh, multi-line enabled. So all you need to do here is you delete this I and instead put ML. But when you put an ML, you need to create the number of lines you desire. So you can do that by putting size equal open and close bracket comma within the bracket. Let's imagine 30 and we can put three. Now, because we have included size there, he's going to do something. Let me show you how it looks like. Then you can understand what I would say next. You would see that this is actually moved in far away from the rest of it. So in order to make this the same size, then you have to make sizes 30 uh, as the width and the height will be one for those single entries. So let me just, for the sake of showing you that, I will copy that, highlight, command C, and then command V, remember to put commas, separate it, comma to separate it, just before key. Copy separate that. Emergency contact as well. And separate it. Right, so this is... We will show at this point what it looks like. You can see how all of them have been moved at this moment, but then we need a gender to have a combination of selection. So close that gender. So instead of I, delete the I and put combo. When it's a combination, then you need to include another parameter known as values. So you put comma values and you put the square bracket. Within the square bracket, oh, sorry, before the square bracket, you actually put equals to. And within the square bracket, the first value, the female. And then the second value will be male. Okay, let's see how it looks like. Come on here, do that. Brilliant, so you see there, you can actually select as you, you like, okay? 
and here you can write whatever multi-line and it will take multi-line okay we have not we have not implemented clear or submit buttons so nothing will happen at this point but let's before we get to that point which we will do at a subsequent um, tutorial what I want to show is to create a calendar point here then which we will pick up and then populate this area with it okay let's do that now so we're going to change this line of code here uh, the date of birth okay so just watch what I'm going to do instead of this T you're going to put a calendar button okay and within that button you want to convert all of this date of birth into a button text text equals to that that code there will convert this information onto a button text okay so it will be date of birth and we need to format this in such a way that it would pick up dates and put in a particular formation for the avoidance of that let me show you how it looks like at this point it might crash it might not it might work let's see you see that so it creates something but if I click that it brings up that date of birth but if I click on it it doesn't have where to go to it just brings up all, everything out that way it doesn't mean much to us so we want to format it in such a way that it will make meaning when it delivers information into this box okay so let's do that now so here we'll format it format equals and the, fo the formula to use is to put percentage day and put a hyphen percentage month hyphen percentage year okay that is the format we want it to show and we don't want uh, no title no title bar so we can say true and we want the date once you collect to uh, you, you, you select to close the calendar rather to close so comma close when they chosen so you say again I say true okay and then we want it to be in a target okay so that uh, the target for that date selection will be the key which is DOB so you put the exact appearance of that DOB and then you want a default date because you don't want to go backwards too many uh, very long to select the date of birth of persons so you can start from maybe give 1950 or 1970 or depending on the edge range within which you want to implement your database so I normally put 1 6 19 let's say 1980 okay and all that's all you've done to demonstrate and for a show let us see how it looks like remember all the information here I will go slowly so you can see calendar button a date format no title but true 
close when dead, chosen, true, dead or birth. It's a target which is the same key as that. And let's see how it plays. Brilliant. So you can have a look here. And let me demonstrate how it looks now. Click on that. So you see January 1980 comes up and the default date is that way. So you, if you need to go backwards, it's not too much. Neither is it too far off, depending on the edge range. And you can select, you can move the years and then move the months that way and select the date. And it does not come with all those excess information. And of course, you can choose one of the genders, fill the rest, and put the phone contact number here. And that's all. Good. So in this uh, episode, we have implemented uh, implemented a change in the way we can select or pick up a date from a calendar with this single line code changes. We change the I to combo to create values and we also change the I to multi-line in order to create this large change and that is how we're able to create this so at this point you can see we have been able to produce an interface that is very rich and also able to provide a lot of meaning the next episode we will implement how these buttons will operate in particular, how to clear entries. In other words, I should click that and it should clear. But it cannot do that at the moment. That's why it's crashing because I've not implemented that button. Okay. So we'll exit at the moment. And I hope to see you at the next episode. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.